Hello my dolls and welcome to the Cello Doll YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to sit with your instrument. Oh my gosh, I love talking about posture. It is so important, so let's get right into it. I know you must be so excited to have your own instrument, but so many students want to immediately jump into playing without having a stable posture. Posture is so crucial for physical playing health, longevity and mobility, and it's going to make technical stuff easier for you down the road. Take the time to really work on the posture before you jump in and start jamming on the cello. Let's take a look at some cello posture tips. For this first part, you guys don't need your instrument. So Chelly, you know I love you, but you gotta go. How do you do that? Oh my God, it's magic. So we're actually gonna talk about our posture from the side. If you guys have a mirror at home, this is a great way to check yourself for reference. If you're in a good position, you should be able to stand up very quickly, sit back down, stand back up very quickly, and sit back down. Now, if I try to do that same standing and I am hunched like this, I gotta do some wiggling, I can't move as fast, so it's very important to keep that straight, flat back. Straight but relaxed. You don't wanna be locking any part of your body, so you can do some swivel side to side, move your shoulders a bit, make sure nothing is tense and locked up. And this is so important, I am on the edge of my seat. If you are so close to the back of the chair, you are going to be tempted to lean on it and rely on it, and you're not going to build that back muscle and strength you need. We're actually going to talk about the legs next. You want to make sure knees are at a nice 90 degree angle with the floor. We don't want anything tucked underneath, feet kicked out. We want stuff to be in a square-like shape. So no triangles. I had a teacher call weird feet duck feet, and he used to tell me, you don't want to be a duck, you want to be a cellist. So think of that nice square shape. So this is what a cello posture looks like from the side. So now I really miss Bay. So Bay, come back to me, please. <gasps> He's returned. So how do we bring this into the equation? You're going to stand up. Make sure the cello is in the middle of your body. And I'm going to push out my instrument so it is at arm's length. Leaving my arm at that height, you're going to do the cello sit. Make sure the feet are flat and straight. And then I'm going to bring the cello to me. So there are two ways to adjust your cello. Up and down for height, we use the end pin. It's this metal piece at the bottom. And then we have angle. So dipping it down or bringing it up. Now a couple things to tell if this is the right height. Is your bottom most peg just about at your ear? If it's not, then you take the end pin, bring it a little lower if it's too high. The cello should also rest comfortably against the middle of your chest plate. It should be able to just sit there poised and comfortable. You don't need to squeeze it. You don't want any unnecessary tension. Now, you see these two triangles on the side of celli? Think triangles in the back. Rabbi Maniz. Tilt the cello to the right. So the left side of the cello is a little higher and your right side is a little lower. And that's going to help you later on when we add the bow. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope my tips and tricks were helpful. Please comment below if you have any questions and I'll try to help out how I can. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the Cello Doll channel. Chelly and I had a great time and we'll be talking to you very soon. Bye!